function rules from equations. For a given input value x, the function x output a value y to satisfy the following equation. So they give you the following. So let me cut on the writing here. So you have uh, 6x plus y is equal to 4x plus 11y. Now, uh, when you look at this, you might think, okay, I'm going to solve for the x, because it says write a formula for h of x in terms of x. Uh, this side is actually your input, so this is the input side, and the box is actually your output side. Now, it says right here, output a value of y. So you're not going to say it's x, you got to actually solve for y. So you want to find what y is equal to. Because it says output a value y, so the box is considered the output, so you want to solve this for y. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a, a BCD, and we're only going to circle the y. So the y is the only thing that's going to be circled. So we're going to uh, box the 6x circle this y, uh, box this 4x, and then we're going to uh, circle this 11y. So we're going to subtract uh, both sides, or actually all the boxes by minus 4x. So we can, uh, let's see, we'll get uh, 2x here, plus y, cross this out, and this is 11y. Let's put a 1 here. So now what we want to do is uh, we want to box the numbers. Actually, box the, the numbers and letters that are not y. In this case, it's 2x. Circle the 1y and circle the 11y. Subtract off the 1y because we want that box by itself. Cross this out so you get uh, 2x is equal to 10y. Now remember you're solving for y not for x because you want y equal to. So if we check this we have one circle and one box. So now we want to divide by 10 both sides. So we cross this out we get 10. Over here you got uh, 2x over 10. Now 2x over 10 can be reduced so we could say 1x over 5, so 1x over 5, let me write that better, so 2 over 10 would become 1 fifth, so we could say 1x over 5 is equal to y. So we'll come over here and uh, we make our fraction. Now, you could write the x by itself, or you could put the 1x in there. You know, it's up to you. Either way is going to work. And then your denominator is 5. So let's check that. Okay, let's go to the next question. It says, for a given input value, v, that's your input. And then it says, uh, the function f, the output value, is u. So that's what you want to pay attention to, is what the output is. So this is the output. The output is u, and that's your box. So the box is u. So we want to uh, figure out what u is equal to. So we want to solve for u. So we're only going to circle the letter u's. So we have u minus 5 is equal to negative 4 parentheses v minus 1. So we're going to say letter U minus 5 is equal to negative 4V plus 4. Uh, we're going to only circle the letter U's and we're going to box everything else. So we're also going to box this negative 4V and we're also going to box this plus 4. So now I'm going to say U minus 5. These two small boxes I can make uh, one big box here. So I could say negative 4v plus 4 and put that in one big box, circle letter u, and then box the negative 5. 
So what I want to do is add 5 to both sides. So what I get is, cross this out, I get letter U is equal to negative 4V plus 4 plus 5. So now what I can do is uh, write down u is equal to negative 4v. That plus 4, that plus 5 will come become a plus 9. So remember, the u was the output. So inside the box, I'm going to type in the negative 4v. So just type in the negative 4v. Don't put down the uh, u again. Only go negative 4 letter v plus 9. So this is plus 9. And uh, notice also that f of v is now equal to a negative 4v plus 9. So the letters now match. The letters match each other. And that's what it should be. So whatever you put for v is going to match with that equation inside, which is negative 4v plus 9. Okay, next question. Uh, it says the input value is a. And the output value is B. So this is letter B. So what we want to do is we want to figure out what B is equal to. So we're only going to circle the B's. So we're going to say negative 3A plus 6B is equal to A plus 4B. So this is not a B, so it becomes a box. There is a B here, so we circle. Right here's a box, and right here's a circle. So we want to move our boxes here. So we have a negative 3a and a positive a. So we're going to add uh, 3a to both sides. And this a by itself is actually a 1. So we cross this out. We get uh, 6 letter b is equal to 4a plus 4b. Circle your B's, box the 4A because there's no B there, circle the B. We're going to move the uh, 4B out of here, make that a negative 4B. Cross that out. So that's 4A. Uh, this is a two letter B. Now remember you're solving for the B, not for the A. So again, if I check this, there's my circle, there's my box. So I want to divide each side by 2. Cross this out, so this is B. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, letter A. So that's the only thing that goes in the box is the 2A, not the B. So I'm going to type in 2A. Now, if you look at the, uh, uh, the problem there, it says F of A is now equal to 2a so they both match you know you want to you want to plug in for an a in the equation so you say f of a is now equal to 2a okay next one we have the input the input is x and the output is uh, actually the output is not g because that's actually the name of the function. The name of the function is g. The output of it is actually y. So what you want to do is figure out what y is equal to. So we're going to say negative 4x minus 6 is equal to negative 5y plus 2. So we're going to box the x's. We're going to box the negative 6. I'm going to circle this negative 5, and I'm going to box this 2. So now what I want to do is make one big box for the negative 4x minus 6. So make one big box for this. So we have negative 5y plus 2. So negative 5y plus the 2. 
So we're going to uh, circle and box. So I'm going to move the uh, plus 2, make that a minus 2. Cross this out. This is a negative 5y. So I now have negative 4x minus 6 minus 2. What I can do is go negative 4x. The minus 6 minus 2 will make a minus 8 is equal to a negative 5y. So now what I need to do now is go ahead and let's see, put this all in a box. And there's my circle. So I have one box and one circle. Go ahead and divide by negative 5. So I can cross this out. So I have y. I have a negative 4x minus the 8 over uh, the uh, negative 5. Now, there's a bunch of negatives in here. So I think if I put this answer in, I think it's going to uh, probably say it's going to be simplified more. So what we can do is we got two negative signs on top. So we can bring that negative sign outside the parentheses. So just, just take the negative sign, because they both have a negative sign. Bring it outside, so you have a positive 4x, and you'd have a positive 8 left over. On the bottom, you have the negative 5 equal to y. So now you have the double negatives on the outside. So the double negatives can actually uh, disappear, and this would leave you with 4x plus 8 over 5 is equal to y. So we'll type in 4x and uh, you know we'll, we'll keep parentheses. You don't really have to put these parentheses down but let's say that I keep them in there. So we go 4x plus the 8 and then the bottom number is going to be positive 5.